Former Congressman Duncan Hunter will spend 11 months in federal prison. Today, a judge sentenced the former East County representative who pleaded guilty to one felony count of campaign fraud last year. 10 News reporter John Horn was inside the courtroom when Hunter addressed the judge. Former Congressman Duncan Hunter stood up in court and said he takes full responsibility for his actions. He also said it's been an honor to serve his country. Still, Judge Thomas Whelan sentenced the former congressman to 11 months in federal prison. Hunter pled guilty to conspiring with his wife Margaret to misuse $250,000 in campaign funds over nearly a decade as the family's personal financial situation crumbled. Prosecutors say the Hunters used campaign contributions to fund everything from lavish vacations to basic living expenses. In committing campaign finance, and then denying it to the nations in general and to the people in the 50th in particular. And continuing to serve in office, Duncan Hunter came to embody the very notion that politicians thought they were above the law. Outside the courthouse, Duncan Hunter's father, former Congressman Duncan Lee Hunter, said the sentence length was expected. He also called the case a political hit job, repeating arguments rejected again at Tuesday's hearing that the prosecutors were biased because they attended a Hillary Clinton fundraiser. Now, what American citizen wants to be prosecuted by somebody who's gone to their political opponents Fundraiser. Hunter won't serve his sentence until at least late May, given uncertainties due to the coronavirus. John Horn, 10 News.